everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura of Laura Plans It, and today I am gonna walk you through all of the brand new goodies that are part of the Erin Condren and Target Teacher Planner collaboration. Okay, so if you haven't already heard, Erin Condren products will now be in Target. It is a limited line of teacher planners and accessories. And I am really, really excited about this, particularly for a lot of my homeschool families. Uh, those of you that are on a budget, I know teachers are always on a tight budget. This is great because these planners are not as expensive as the full line of Erin Condren planners. They are undated, which means that you can make it work for you and your schedule, particularly homeschool families. I know we don't always start the same times that teachers do, um, you know, I start in mid-September, so it's kind of nice to be able to say, hey, I don't have to start this planner until September. So I don't know that you can do that with the actual Erin Condren teacher planners. I think I have mine as a July or August start date. There's also some exclusive stickers and accessories as well. So let's go ahead and open this box up and see what's gonna be in Target. <laughs> So of course I twisted this the wrong way. Let me flip this around. Whoops. That would be, that would be right. That's my style guys, right? So here are some of the fun accessories coming from Target. There is a new classroom sticker book. It says inspire, teach, guide, mentor, encourage. I actually have this cover from Erin Condren as well as a custom cover. And I will flip through this in just a second. I'm gonna flip through it in this video. I will not be doing a separate video. It'll be in this video. There is a teacher dashboard. There's copies, grade, and contact. And then let's go ahead and just open this up. The back of this dashboard here is to buy and then a grid on the bottom there. So definitely easy to customize and fit whatever you need as a teacher or homeschool parent in there. There are some sticky notes. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that the sticky notes have the triangles pattern that we had from 2019 to 2020 in the teacher planners. And I believe that's the same pattern you're gonna see in these books in just a minute. But I actually love that pattern and I'm really excited for these sticky notes, particularly the, the pencils. I think those are super cute. And then there are two planners. Now, the planners from what I understand are the same on the inside. There are two different covers though. So let's go ahead and take these out of the box and I'm gonna move the box out of the way. Okay, so here are the two planners um, with their cover choices. So you've got this one here is the triangles pattern. And then this one here is the inspire, teach, guide, mentor, encourage. And one of the things that I'm really excited to share with you is this is a cover that I actually just repurchased this design with the school year on it for our archives. And you can see very clearly it is the exact same size as the teacher planners you get at Target. So if you purchase a teacher planner from Target and you want to get a different cover, you can. So the planners are the same on the inside. I'm just going to flip through one of these, but I wanted to show you that there are two cover options for you right now as well. Um, and then for those of you who want to see the back, this is the back of the apples cover there. And the back of the triangles cover is more triangles. All right. So let's flip through the teacher planner first. You can see it says 12 month undated all in one lesson planner. It is obviously handmade in the USA. It has uh, beautiful paper inside. Uh, eight and a half by 11 yearly, monthly and vertical weekly spreads, dated calendar, monthly tab stickers, and an additional 333 functional stickers. So we flip it open and it comes when you purchase it bound with this plastic that will keep it protected when it is in the actual store. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut this off because that'll be a lot easier than trying to slide it off. And you can see very clearly, this is a very similar setup to what we have. I'm not sure if this is the exact same paper. It feels like it is. It almost looks more white than the actual teacher planner. But let's go ahead and flip through this. So this is, says you can customize your teacher planner. It kind of, if you've never used Erin Condren, this feels like it's kind of like a, an introduction to Erin Condren planners. There's the all about me section, events and volunteers. This is the same as the standard teacher planner that you get off their website. Communication log, which as a homeschool parent, I actually switched this to a reading log so I can log the books that we've read throughout the year. Here are some blank, like gold type boxes, year plan it says. I love that these are absolutely blank. There's no color, there's no 
words. There's no months written on it. That's really cool. I kind of wish that they did this. I don't think they do that in the actual teacher planner. I'd have to look. I think the teacher planner itself, if you buy it from Erin Condren's website, it starts with January. So that is really nice. Graph paper, again, same thing that they have in the current teacher planner. Some lined paper here. And then we get into the first month here. And you can see it's a blank tab. Nothing says anything about what the actual month is. And this is undated. Now it does start with the color scheme for January. So if you're familiar with Erin Condren planners, January is kind of this aqua bluish color. February is pink, March is mint, April is purple, May is like a peachy color and so on and so forth. So it does start with the January color scheme. And then the layout here, this is really cool. So this is different than the teacher planner like the current teacher planners. And I'm honest to goodness, I like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could easily do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, especially you homeschool parents. You cannot do that with the current teacher planner. The current teacher planner, the dated one from Erin Condren has six of these and a notes column. This is really cool. The notes column is over here. There's nothing over here that says the day of the week. So one, two, three, four, five. That's how the one you purchase on the Erin Condren website is set up. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with no weekends. This is really cool. For those of you who are not teachers, you could very easily have a larger vertical planner and it is lined. This is awesome. As you flip through, you'll see it's the same for the entire month. And it looks like there's probably going to be five weeks for each month. Let me double check. So one, two, three, four, and then it goes, okay, so there's four weeks for that month. And then it goes into the February color scheme, but again, undated completely and same thing. So you get that and then it goes into March. So let's flip down to the back now and see what comes in the back of this planner. So you get to the undated for the December color scheme and there's some lined pages in the back here. So there's like the December color scheme, so the green. And then you get to the triangle pattern itself. More triangle pattern. And then we have the checklists. This is one of my favorite parts of the teacher planner and I'm really glad that they kept this in. I think this is a really important piece of the teacher planner for homeschooling and for obviously for teachers who use this for attendance and grading. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those spreads, which is really great. That should be, that should cover pretty much everything. I mean, for me, that covers all of our curriculum for both of my kids. For a teacher, I would assume that it covers most of your uh, periods or classes that you might have. Again, I'm not a teacher. I'm a homeschool parent. I'm not a teacher, but I, I do love these checklists. So that's really cool. There are the sticker sheets in the back here. Now this page here is icons. It has a couple like, you know, after school report due testing, no school. Those are actually all things that as a parent and a homeschooler, I might be able to use as well. Maybe not staff meeting unless I'm having a meeting with my parent or the therapists. Um, parent teacher conference. I, I mean, I talk to myself, so maybe that counts. <laughs> These are all gold foiled as well. Then we've got some more flags and more functional style. First day, birthdays, 50th, 100th day, last day, um, important field trips. Assembly I wouldn't use, but in conference I probably wouldn't use, or meetings. But honestly, I could use the field trips. I could use reminders. Obviously, the blank gold um, flags could be used. The notebook page type stickers. Those are really cool. Breaks. Everybody needs a break, right? So I could use a lot of these. Again, these are gold foil. It looks like everything in here is gold foil too. These are standard functional stickers. So these ones would fit the tops of your weekly here. There's only, let's see, nine of them. So I don't know that you'd really get to do that frequently, but you can always buy. Erin um, Condren has these that you can buy in their stop, shop. They are not foiled. Um, you can get them plain or you can uh, customize them, which is really cool, which is actually what I do. There's some thinner strips of like washi, stri washi there. And again, some more functional boxes and teardrop flags. And then monthly appointment stickers here in the back in that standard rainbow color that Erin Condren uses. Then we have the actual date sticker. So these, obviously, these do not come in the dated planner. These are specific to the undated one. So this is really neat. There's, you know, one through 31 in every color plus the four um, asterisk stickers in case you wanted to cover up dates that perhaps aren't being used. 
There are flags that you can put. This is actually really a lot like how they do the kids planner. There's flags here and those would go, let me just open a monthly spread for you here. These flags with the month of the year would actually probably go right up here. So you can let people know what, or let yourself know, I guess, unless you're sharing this. I share my planner with my family because we're homeschool, so. Um, but you've got the flag here so you can mark the month. And then these are, for the, these are tabs and they will go, let me see if I can do this here. I'm terrible at this, guys. I'll tell you that right now. So it has nothing to do with the Erin Condren. If I mess this up, this is totally on me. But these are little flags and they would go right here at the very side and you would just line them up really neatly. Again, I'm terrible at this. That is not even remotely straight, but you line it up straight and then you flip it over, bend it over, and it would say December. Um, clearly, lining straight stickers up is not my, not my jam. Let me see if I can do this here so you guys can actually get a better view of how that looks in the planner. Because I, I do like having the custom tabs on here. I think it's really important to have that. I'm not going to be able to get this right where I need it to be, though. I don't think I'm just not that, not that skilled. It's just not my thing. My daughter's actually really, really good at it. But there we go. So there it says December there. It does obviously show a little bit of the green on either side. I didn't do that great, but it could be worse. So I'll let you guys see what that sticker there looks like. It is foiled as well. So going back to the back of this, there's the rest of the stickers there. And then that's it. So a couple differences, obviously, from the new teacher planners for tar that are the Target collaboration versus the regular teacher planner. First off is the weekly spread, where you have seven, basically seven vertical columns versus six vertical columns, a list of the dates, and a notes column. So I actually prefer this. I think this is a lot nicer. Um, I do plan Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I actually would prefer to do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I actually like this better and I'm seriously considering using this instead of my other planner. Shh, I do, I really do love my other planner though, guys. Don't hold this against me. So that's a big difference. The other difference to note is that there is not a pocket in the back of this. There is no, um, let me grab my life planner. Well, I guess the life planner wouldn't work. There's no cardboard pocket in the back. There's also no document sleeve in the back. So the Teacher planner, the full teacher planner from Erin Condren comes with that. The one from Target does not. And again, you flip and you get to the, oh, sorry, you get to the back of the planner and then that's it. So there's a little bit about Erin um, on the back and the company. This is our, the exclusive Target collection that you can shop as well. So that is the planner. And again, there are two different patterns to pick from. And the other thing I said I was going to flip through right now is a sticker book, which I think. I'm excited for this. I actually really love the sticker books from Erin Condren. So I'm excited to share this with you as well. So again, you've got, you're gonna have a mix of functional and decorative in all of the sticker books. Um, reminders, assembly, conference, field trip, important and take note in a variety of different colors with that rainbow scheme that Erin Condren still has. Um, and I like these functional box stickers here. They fit really nicely in, in the um, weekly line boxes. This one is watercolor apples and some circle and teardrop ones. This, oh, this is actually, hang on now. This is the washi tape sticker. I am a huge fan of washi tape stickers. This one isn't, this one is, I can feel the difference in the paper. The washi tape style stickers are my favorite style. So that's really cool. Here are some tiny flags. These are actually some of my favorite styles of um, stickers because they're really easy to put in the monthly spread. Unfortunately, I probably would not use the meeting stickers at all or the game stickers at all because we don't we don't do either one of those in our homeschool life. I wouldn't use nearly this many birthday stickers. I would definitely use holiday and exam. I could very easily use a lot of these in my life planner though. These ones are clear stickers, to do, reminder, meeting, don't forget, no school, note, today, an appointment. And these ones have silver point. Just as a heads up, that one's rose gold foil. I'm sorry, I always forget that because I don't care about foil colors as much as maybe I should. That one's gold and then this one was the silver. So this one is silver again and it's a clear sticker with words. These here are regular stickers, gold foiling. They're just appointment type stickers that would probably fit best in the monthly uh, calendars. These ones, I, you know, these ones have been in the, these checklist ones, 
these have been part of the Erin Condren stickers for a long time and I honestly can't I can't figure them out I mean I guess if you're tracking a lot of different habits because I don't know I mean it's, it has Monday through Sunday and it's got one two three four five boxes for you to check off and one title so I don't know I don't know how you would use that maybe it's more of a teacher specific thing it's not something that I've ever used um, then there's apples there and again this is the rose gold foiling Here's some thicker washi strips. I actually really like these. I used them to decorate my teacher planner last year from last year's book. And you can see that's a silver foil. And it says, every day is a new adventure. Teaching is the greatest act of optimism. Um, and so on and so forth. These are more of the notebook style stickers. And they have gold foil. These ones, like I mentioned in the um, planner itself, these ones are like labels for the headers classroom. Oh, gosh, I'm having trouble getting the sticker off of the paper. It's regular sticker paper. These would fit on the top of those tops to either say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or the subject that you're teaching there. And this is rose gold foiling on those ones. And then we have colorful circles. Now these ones are really cool. I love like the circle dots. They're clear and they have silver platinum foiling. All right, we have a couple more I guess we'll call them functional decorative. So after school, report due, testing, to do, no school and break. Then some flags, teardrops, and circle stickers. And these have the gold foiling on them. And then another set of clear stickers. These ones have rose gold foiling. And these are more icons. So stars, asterisks, apples, uh, and then check marks, hearts, etc. So that is the entire sticker book. It is sized the same as all the other sticker books. So if you have any kind of sticker organization system using the Erin Condon sticker books, it'll fit just fine. So these are the things that are exclusive to Target for their new line. I am really excited for you guys to be able to shop the Target line now. I will have links to all of these at Target. They are online already and you can, um, you can order them online. They will be showing up throughout the month of July in stores. They might already be in your store, but it is a slow rollout. So, you know, check your local listings, see if they're available. Um, we're still quarantined, so I'm doing curbside pickup. So I have not checked my store yet to see if they're available or not. But I'm, I'm really happy with this. I think the quality is really nice. I think the paper is really nice. I'm really, je well, I didn't open this one, so let's leave that off to the side. I am really jealous of the seven days a week layout. This is perfect as a homeschool parent. We do a lot of like our field trips and activities on the weekend when my husband is home. He's not home during the week to help out with the kids. So when Saturday and Sunday come around and he wants to do something that regard, you know, around history or math or science or um, go on a field trip to one of the museums, we live near DC so we well typically can go to the Smithsonian. You know, I don't have a Saturday or Sunday to write that in so I'm forced to try to squeeze it in on a weekend, which this doesn't even say like Monday through Sunday either, guys. This is like really blank. So you can customize that any which way you want, which is nice as well. But I've always been forced to have to put them in the monthly spreads. I think it's really nice that you have the option to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you can order the stickers from Erin Condren to have the days of the week on the top as well if you wanted to do that, which is really nice. I will link those in the description below along with all of the products from Target. So I hope you like this video and the product walkthroughs. If you do, go ahead, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more product walkthroughs of planners and planner related goodies, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you tap that bell, that'll turn on notifications so you're always alerted when a new video comes out. And as always, for behind the scenes, sneak peeks, and what I'm doing right now, head on over to my Instagram, at Laura Plans It. Thanks so much for watching.